you, you, I'm looking at you. Do you want awesome audio? Do you want your sound on your video, on your stream to sound awesome everywhere, anywhere, at any time with only having to put in, get this, wait, hold on, a little effort, just a little, just a little bit will get you really, really far. Now, if that sounds attractive to you, I'm your guy. I am the guy. This video has really been four and a half years in the making. <laughs> Without further ado, this is how to make any microphone sound like a studio microphone. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Mikey, otherwise known as Alpha, and welcome back to another tutorial. This video is how to make any microphone sound like a studio microphone. Now, before we get into the rest of the tutorial, I wanna go over a couple basics and some things that have changed from the last video. Now, first things first, you might notice from the last video four and a half years ago, this isn't a blue snowball. I don't use a blue snowball anymore. In fact, about a year and a half later after I posted that video, I switched from a blue snowball to an AT2020, the USB plus version of it. And if you want that microphone, and I think it's a great microphone for the price, you could buy it in the link in the description down below. Now, that being said, some things that have changed from this video is that I now use voice meter banana instead of just regular voice meter. Now, what's the difference? Voice meter banana allows me to, it just gives me more buttons and dials to do more cool stuff with it. Now, let's go over a couple basics. Number one, you do not need a pop filter. You really, really don't. If you speak directly into the microphone and you put your P's and your B's in there, they'll come out. Now, a pop guard like I have right now will help, but if you're really speaking directly into that microphone, you're you're treating that hard, that thing will still pick up all those P's and B's. Now, some of you might be asking, but Mikey, you see all the studios, all the fancy people with all the fancy microphones have pop guards, pop filters, and everything. I'm here to tell you that that is a lie. I'm here to tell you that that is a lie. What do I mean by a lie? Now, what do I mean by they're lying? It's really for show. They don't need it. The only why you don't need it is you can just speak off access from the microphone and it'll just be fine. It'll be beautiful. It'll work out great. And if anything, you can just put a sock over your microphone if you're if that makes you happy. Number two, recording environment. Now, you might recognize or notice that I don't have anything loud in the background of whatever my microphone has. You might hear an occasional car come by from time to time, but even then, I'm waiting for those to pass, and if anything, if my AC is being loud, I'm either turning it off or just putting it on idle, just doing whatever, so that sound doesn't come through my microphone. If there's a fan in my room that's making a lot of noise, turning it off. If there's people in the background, I'm going to say, hey, I'm making a video. Can you guys be quiet for a little bit? All of these things can go a long way into making your audio sound awesome. And it's just the little things that can really mess you up, but also make your video sound great. Number three, how you're actually talking in the microphone. Now, something you might notice is that this microphone is relatively like close to my face, but not too far. I would say it's somewhere between six and 12 inches away from my face, and I'm speaking off access from it. Now, that's the key. You want to keep the microphone relatively close, like within that range uh, of your voice or the source of sound and that's just a key or a rule of thumb to keep in mind now you saw that i brought the microphone a little bit closer and if i bring it a little bit closer you might notice that there's more bass coming out of my voice you might notice that this is more intimate and we can just i can lower my voice just a little bit i can speak a little softer so keeping the microphone closer is more for the soft speakers or those who just want to keep like a really really chill monotone kind of like uh, uh, something like that i'm putting the microphone a little further away from your face might require you to project your voice just a little bit more but besides that i think this is human speaking level i think this is what a person would hear if i were to talk to them this is just what i prefer whether you prefer to keep the microphone closer or further away from you is totally up to you honestly now we can finally get into software solutions the thing that i'm sure everyone has been waiting for all right, so this is going to be the part of the tutorial where I show you guys how to download and actually use voice meter and, you know, set it up and make it work. So uh, first things first, let's open up our browser of choice. So I'm going to open up Firefox and I'm going to look up uh, right here, voice meter banana. I'm going to click on that first link 
but I'm also going to type in um, virtual audio cable. And I'm going to click on that first link as well. We can get rid of Google for now. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click on install. I'm going to hit save file. Same thing here. I'm going to click download. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to bring these to my desktop. Right here. So first things first, uh, download the two files I gave you guys. Uh, links are going to be in the description down below to get these files. One of them is going to say Mike Noisegate config. The other one's going to say Mike config. These are my settings files for my specific microphone, the AT2020. But if you want to base your settings off of my settings and you want to, you know, mess around and do what works for you, then this is definitely a good place to start. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on voice meter. We're going to click on run as administrator. It's going to ask me some questions. Do I want to make changes? I'm going to hit yes, but I won't in this tutorial. Reason I'm not going to do that is if I open it, it'll close my current instance of voice meter and my voice will cut out and my recording will be all kinds of jacked up. I'm not going to do that, but I promise this won't give you any viruses. Uh, and even if it did, I would probably would have faced a lot, a lot of trouble and probably not had my YouTube channel exist by now, being that I made a tutorial using voice meter in the past. So that being said, right click on the zip file you guys downloaded. Click uh, extract all. Click extract. And right click on VB cable setup x64 if you have a 64 bit system. Or right click on VB cable setup uh, normal if you have a 32 bit system. If you don't know for sure uh, my PC, just type in my PC, click properties, and you should see right here system type. It tells you right here. But I'm going to right click on setup x64. If I click that, and I hit yes, it'll uh, it'll give me the option to install. When you install these things, there'll be like a giant install button on the bottom right. Click on that, accept whatever certificates, trust whatever, whatever you gotta trust, and that's it. That's all you needed to do to install those. So now we can get rid of those, and as soon as you've installed those, restart your computer, come back to this tutorial, and uh, as soon as you've done that, now we can open up voice meter. So we'll click on our start menu. We'll do voice meter banana. And you'll see your voice meter will look just like this, but maybe a little different. You won't see anything moving. You won't see, you know, any dials twisted or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click menu, load settings, and we're going to load mic config. Mic config is our current settings file for voice meter. This is what we use. This is what we do. Um, and this is what's currently making my microphone sound like this. Now, give me a second here. Now, this is what my current microphone sounds like right now. This is what my microphone sounds like without any editing done to it. Um, this, is, this is what my microphone sounds like stock, not doing anything to it. It definitely sounds a little like there are definitely more mids in my voice um, and there's definitely you could definitely like hear everything um, and I don't quite like that so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and go back to my settings now so I'm gonna hit load settings mic config and there we go this is what my microphone should be sounding like now uh, I'm gonna go over uh, some of the things some of the changes I made to achieve these settings now if all of you wanted Was my mic settings and you didn't want anything more. That's it. You're done this tutorial Boom bada bing bada boom. You're done. You don't gotta watch the rest of this That's all you need to do download the file load the settings make sure under hardware input one. It's your microphone and Under a one it's VB audio point and that's it. That's all you got to do You're done but if you want to put in a little more extra legwork, then definitely continue to stick around for this tutorial. And you'll even learn how to, you know, cut out some background noise while you're at it. So that being said, uh, this little thing right here is currently coloring my microphone. 
uh, a little bit more towards the low end. I have my microphone selected up here, WDMI. And uh, I also have my gain boosted a little bit because I thought my microphone was just a little bit quiet. I didn't do anything all the way into the middle. No buttons or dials were touched in this entire mid section right here. No buttons, nothing was touched. Over here, right over here, uh, all I did was under A1, I selected VB audio point. So I clicked there, VB audio. Yep, there we go, now we're back. And uh, all of these are set to stereo repeat. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the EQ. Now this is the part where I think I'm gonna lose the most people because uh, this is gonna be a little more difficult to explain, but the best way I can explain it is if you've ever messed with your car stereo and you notice your car has options to mess with the bass, the treble, or the high end, or whatever. Uh, this is exactly what this is. Uh, so all the way to the left, this is the low end of uh, of audio. So this is like the, where the bass is. This is where all the mids are, like the midsection and everything like that. And this is where all the high ends are, like those really like high hissing and you know those those bright sounds. This is where all those muddy sounds are. This is where all those bright sounds are. And this is where all like all the middle is. So that's exactly what that is. Um, and I just cut out uh, some little, I just cut out a little bit of the bass for my voice, for my microphone. So, and I did that with all of these filters and I'll explain how to use these right now. So all you have to do is just make sure these are set to on, choose a filter. So I clicked this and this right here allows you to specify Sorry, the thing, this is top one. This top one allows you to specify location, like where it's at. These other two dials don't do anything for this specific filter, but they do mean something in the grand scheme of things. And I'll show you what they do on other filters. This one right here, still location. So location, you might notice that my voice, like parts of it were cutting out, parts of it were moving, because that's because this is live editing my microphone right now. This middle one doesn't do anything for this filter. This bottom one allows you to, you know, tune how fine that curve is. This one right here, this is where the midsection is. Again, location, how high or low. You might notice that my voice is changing a little bit. So I could drop off certain things. I could bring things back and how fine I want that curve to be. This one's not doing anything. This one's just the same filter as this. So location, and that would be like how deep and this would be like how fine so think about it like this the top dial location how deep how fine location how deep and how fine hopefully that makes the most sense and just turn off the ones you don't need this allows you to choose what kind of filter and filter out what kind of things you want these little things, this little drop off right here, allow, I, I basically dropped off like the Bs, like the most annoying part of the b, b sounds in my voice, in my microphone. So I just allowed you to get rid of that. It doesn't get rid of plosives entirely, but it helps you, it helps prevent it from being super annoying. This one right here, same thing with like the high hissing sounds like that. So if I ever do hiss into my microphone, it's not as annoying as it would be. And that's really it. That's really it. I mean, I did drop off some mids in my microphone because my microphone has a lot of a lot of mids, but I'm gonna load my settings back. There we go. And that's really it. I didn't do anything else to this microphone. Um, besides that, if you wanna learn how to do add a noise gate, let's go ahead and click menu, load settings, noise gate config. And you might notice my voice is gonna drop off. Like there will be no background noise relatively soon. And you notice that dropped to zero, my voice came right back up. That's because I set the noise gate, uh, like think of like a noise gate as like, you have to reach this point for audio to come through. Kind of like how Discord or Skype cuts off your audio if you're not loud enough. Think about it like that. You have to be this loud to cut for 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 people to be able to hear you. And this this second one right here, like this comp one, allows you to soften the blow just a little bit, so it doesn't cut off entirely. So, but yeah, that's really it. Um, if you don't want these, you can just turn them down to zero. 
honestly, but it's really up to you uh, to each their own. I just decided to make a separate file for those who wanted to use the settings that I have. But that's really about it. Um, I don't really have much more else to say besides um, I stream on Twitch every single day. Follow me. Subscribe to me on Twitch. Follow me. Links. Link is literally right here. There's my username. Uh, but that being said, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let the wonderful people know of the world I exist. I love your face. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you have yourselves a damn good rest of your day. Peace. You didn't think those were my actual settings, did you? I mean, those settings work. They're awesome. But, I mean, that's not what I use for my streams. Those settings will work. Like, those settings that I just gave you will work beautifully. But I have no good way of explaining this. If you really want me to make a tutorial about this, I, I will. Um, but I don't, I don't know who, who would watch this. Um, but yeah, uh, you have yourselves a, a good night. Uh, thank, thank you so much. Good talk. Good talk. Uh, peace.